probability tables. This is from an exam question. A health club has a number of facilities which include a gym and a sauna. Andrew and his wife Heidi visit the health club together on Tuesday evenings. On any visit Andrew uses either the gym or the sauna or both but no other facility. Okay so so far we've just set the um, the context of the problem. And now for the numbers. The probability that he uses the gym is 0 0.7, the probability that he uses the sauna is 0 0.55, and the probability that he uses both the gym and the sauna is 0 0.25. Okay, so somewhere we need to use these numbers here. We can use a probability table in which case the total of the table will be 1, to represent this situation. Uh, quite clearly from the uh, context here, there's no sign of conditional probability. Uh, if there was, then uh, perhaps I might use a tree diagram. Okay, only two facilities are being used here, the gym. So he either uses the gym, or he does not use the gym. Or he uses the sauna, or he does not use the sauna. The probability that he uses the gym is 0 0.7. The probability that he uses the sauna is 0 0.55. Sauna, 0 0.55. The probability he uses both the gym and the sauna is 0 0.25. And now you can work out all of the uh, missing values. So if that's 0 0.7, that's 1 that must be 0 0.3. If that's 0 0.55, then if you add a 0 0.45 to that, you'll get 1. So these two add up to 1. These two add up to 1. If that's 0 0.25 and that's 0 0.55, then this should be 0 0.30. If that's 0 0.3 plus something to give you 0 0.3, well, obviously, that has to be 0. That makes sense because this is implying that um, he uses neither the gym nor the sauna. And the context clearly states he's going to use one facility or the other or both. So using neither the gym nor the sauna is not an option. So that probability is zero. That makes sense. If that's 0 0.45, that's zero. This must be 0 0.45 as well. And just to check it, these two also add up to 0 0.7. Okay, so this is quite... Um, a good way of representing um, uh, probabilities which are given to you like this. Okay, so here's the first question based on uh, this table now. What's the probability he does not use the gym? The probability that he does not use the gym. Probability not using the gym. There's not using the gym and its probability is 0 0.3. Okay, what's the probability he uses the gym, but not the sauna? So, the gym, but not the sauna, 0 0.45. Probability of gym, but not sauna. So, gym and not sauna. Gym and not sauna, 0 0.45. Uh, what's the probability he uses either the gym or the sauna? but not both. So gym or the sauna, but not both. Okay, so using the gym and the sauna is here. You can't have that because it says not both. It's not an option. Using the gym by itself is this. Using the sauna by itself is this. I'll just add them together. 0 